Mmm, ice cold aluminum. Welcome to a very, very, very fucking cold Scotland. I think being the uh, soft southern Englishman that I am, this can wait a little while and do some inside jobs first. Hopefully today will be another cracking day. It's looking good so far for some good power. Ah, love it. Come here, thank you. I've come to the conclusion that I'm getting old and catching OCD because I've started using power tools and I'm a little bit wonky and I don't like it but uh, near enough is good enough hopefully by the time that I have got this done we're defrosted a bit outside and I'll go and play with the panels So, as I said, soft southern Englishman, do some inside jobs first. Which is not really the attitude. <laughs> Near enough's good enough. Well, that's us defrosting nicely. It's turning into an absolutely booming day. Lovely. So, this is about this is about what I've got for weed control, some old carpet and a pool cover and the weed chickies have come to inspect it Hey babies What do you think? That'll be alright? Yeah, I know Get Get your arse in gear so yeah, I'm under supervision. <laughs> um, so just as a quick eyeball of how many I think I could get in here, probably about 10 or 12 panels in various. Uh, it'd probably be a it'd probably be a snake, to be honest with you. It might be like five or six and five or six, but in series. So I think as well, panels are getting really dirty. They need a wash. Right, onwards, and upwards.
Nobody here but us chickens. They're taking cover because the big ones are out. So, what we have here, 10 panels, um, because these ones have got an open circuit voltage of 37 volts, something like that. 37.3 volts open circuit voltage so if I times that by 10 you're getting on for the guts of 400 volts open circuit voltage with 10 panels in series which is getting quite high and quite squeaky bum um, so that'll do for playing around with one thing I am going to do and I highly recommend that people do it is instead of playing around with God knows how many volts and switch gear that's inverter switch gear that's been turned on and off, or sorry, unwired and wired back up again, and the PV cables, blah blah blah, is I'm going to hook up just one panel, and then I'll go back indoors, and I'll check the polarity, positive negative, make sure everything's the right way around, and tickety boo. So that'll be the next plan. Right, so that's my one panel hooked up, ready to go. Somewhat fortuitously is now that I have um, fastened the solar cables and I've gone up the ceiling across the roof, down and across, I've actually got quite a bit spare, which is quite fortuitous. So those 10 could go into a bit of a better orientation and up and down and here and about and there and around and I've got some slack to play with so that's cool hello Dave still looking like shit mate scruffy bugger right so checking polarity of the old solar so we're off at the isolator switch and the plugs are pulled um, I don't know how I'm going to do this and film it but we'll see where I can put you That's rubbish, that's rubbish, that's rubbish, that's rubbish, that's rubbish, that's rubbish, that's even worse. <laughs> Hold the line caller, sorry if I'm making you feel seasick. Ha <laughs> ha, right. Right, yo then, checking polarity at the solar. And we should see 20, 30 odd volts. No, I shouldn't because I haven't turned it on yet. So I'll just check I've got nothing. Nothing. Isolator's on. And positive, negative. 21, 21 volts I've got here. Um, so that should be open circuit voltage of 37 volts on the panel. The panels are old and quite creaky and knackered. Um, and I think it was a 25 meter cable. So that's quite a loss over that distance and through a switch. 
from a knackered old panel. Um, but it is quite, as I said, it's laying flat and it's not the brightest of afternoons now. Um, it's clouded over and that, but the polarity is correct, positive, negative, and just to double check, I'll swap them over and I should see a negative sign. Now, if I get it right on it, there we go, negative 22. So that was me swapping the leads over. So I'm 100% 100% confident that uh, I can go full bore now, I'll connect them back up and I'll connect the ones out there up and we're good to go. Good to go. Happy, 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 happy boy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. This part of the game makes me extremely nervous. The battery is still turned off at the moment, the fuse is not connected. Um, but that's the, the battery tails connected to the inverter. Um, I've seen Andy on the off-grid garage. Two things that I've seen on YouTube and Andy has shown is to wake up the inverter using the power supply by slowly turning it up um, to pre-charge the capacitors and all the wizardry inside the blue box without it going pshh. Um, so yeah, I'm extremely nervous, not excited about doing this, um, and I don't know whether or not to film myself doing it or not, because it'll just be a catalogue of errors. Um, if it goes horribly wrong, then the next video will be really short, because it'll just be me in a scorched wall going, ha ha ha, fucked it up. Alright, so, uh, I'll see how it goes. Hmm, hmm. I'm not stalling for time, honest, I forgot. Wi-Fi dong dongly thingy. Um, yeah, so there goes up the arse of the inverter. Um, be interesting to see what the range is. Oh no, that cable goes into the inverter and that can go anywhere, I think. Um, so, put, I'll pop that in quick. Oh wow, I'm sorry, I did indeed shit myself. Um, it did wake up with the wee battery pack but I'm sure I still saw a flash. Um, at the moment, in typical off-grid garage style, look at that sky. Fucking nothing coming in. Um, I've got the wee cooker going, 645 watts going. It's completely silent. No sparks, nothing. Right, as a stress test, I have now got the little student hob, um, both of the rings on the electric hob are running, so that's 1.6 kilowatts, it's still completely silent, and I've got the 35 amps leaving the battery, nothing's gone up in smoke yet, the only thing that's a downer is I've only got 90 volts of solar coming in ha 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 so that's probably bugger all um, right I'm going to read the invo inverter manual and poke some buttons and the settings and the parameters and things like that make sure that I don't blow anything up but as a sniff test and a quick load test nothing's gone up in smoke it's got a nice purpley colour what that means, I don't know, but I did it. Hey, well, I've done half the job. Big battery shelf is next. Big battery shelf next. And play with some buttons. Oh, I'm really happy with how that went. Couldn't have been any better. Um, I'll leave it as is for now. Uh, so yeah, please give us a, a cheeky like, comment and some subscribe. If you want to see how it goes long term, happy days, look after yourselves and each other, bye bye for now. That's me again, that's that with 3 kilowatts 
being drawn um, but I ran in and I've turned it off uh, and the fan's still running and, and cooling down perfect timing the fan's just cut out so the, the fan in it is thermostatic um, turns itself on and, on and off um, the generic grey box inverter that I was using the fan on that was noisy and it ran all the time which pissed me off whereas I'm quite liking this thermostatic fan and it wasn't obnoxiously loud at running three kilowatts of load um, there was an when the fan kicked in there was initial warm new warm electric smell but that quickly passed and there's nothing smelly now um, so for a, for a quick load test I'm over the bloody moon nothing's feeling like it's hot nothing smelly um, I'm going to read the inverter manual and then it's dinner time I think happy days look after yourselves